Now we'll look at reactions and recognize them as redox reactions by examining if the compound has lost or gained hydrogen or oxygen atoms. If oxidation has occurred, the compound either lost hydrogen atoms or gained oxygen atoms. If reduction has occurred, the compound either gained hydrogen atoms or lost oxygen atoms. So let's take a look at these two compounds here. Yeah, C4H8 and O2 producing CO2 and H2O. Well, one might ask, well, how do we look at this compound and how do we know if it gained oxygen? It, the compound is no longer on the right side. It changed. Well, track it the best way you can. Track it with the atoms. C4H8 has a carbon in it and a hydrogen. It has carbon and hydrogen in it. CO2 has carbon in it, but it no longer has hydrogen. Okay, so it would seem that C4H8 underwent oxidation. Because the compound lost hydrogen and gained oxygen. Now look at the oxygen. The oxygen, track the oxygen to this side, went through a reduction because it lost one oxygen atom and picked up two hydrogen atoms. Here's a reaction I'd like you to try. CH3OH plus O2 produces CHOOH plus water. Pause the video, give it a shot, and then come back and see what I come up with. Well, if you came up with that CH3OH was oxidized or went through oxidation, you're correct because it picked up another oxygen. And O2, like previously, went through a reduction. Picked up two oxygens and lost an oxygen.